Well, as a historian, all I want to do is get the story straight given the evidence we have. And one of the, the most widely circulated myths and the title for, for this book has to do with Galileo. Galileo is always trotted out as somebody who was suppressed by the church for teaching uh, the Copernican notion that the earth revolves around the sun. And in some of the stories, well, in almost all of them, Galileo is thrown into jail, he's tortured, he feared for his life, it was, it, it was terrible uh, what they did. But in truth, it was a much more benign uh, affair. Uh, Galileo was, for violating a papal instruction, uh, called down by the Inquisition to Rome early in 1633. When he got there, he was put up in the Tuscan embassy uh, in very nice uh, surroundings when the Inquisition instructed him to come down for the trial. One of the notaries, one of the officials of the Inquisition uh, let Galileo and his servants stay in his three-room apartment. He didn't go into a jail cell and he didn't have to eat Inquisition food the chef at the Tuscan embassy catered his meals. Uh, and from tracking hour by hour uh, what happened to Galileo, uh, it seems unlikely that uh, he ever spent any time in jail, that he was ever physically tortured. Now, there may have been some, some serious mental strain, but almost certainly he didn't think that even if he were found guilty, he would be killed or, or really hurt in any physical uh, manner. He was found guilty. Uh, he went and spent some weeks as a guest of the Bishop of Siena in a nice palace uh, and then spent the rest of his life under house arrest in a villa outside of Florence. So it's not an ideal situation, uh, but it's anything but like the story that has been told for, for uh, centuries now about how the, the Catholic Church uh, persecuted uh, and threatened his, his life. And besides, the convincing evidence for heliocentrism had not yet been discovered. His big argument, empirical argument, had to do with the tides, which turned out, in retrospect, to be wrong. So, uh, again, I, I, I hate to overuse this word, but it's a very complex story. There's some persecution of Galileo. Galileo was a very difficult person himself and went out of his way to alienate friends and enemies. Uh, he wasn't treated as harshly as we typically are told. So, um, you know, there were some Catholics who were supporters of his, some who were opponents of his. So uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit neatly into this story of simple opposition. And along the same lines, uh, a couple of the most distinguished historians of the late Middle Ages and, and the so-called scientific revolution uh, have emphasized the positive role of the Catholic Church. Uh, John Heilbrunn, who studied solar observatories in Catholic cathedrals, said that no institution provided greater support for astronomy for 600 years between the 12th century and the 18th century than the Roman Catholic Church. He is anything but an apologist uh, for, for Catholicism. He has no ax to grind in, in that particular uh, story. And remember, that 600 year period includes the trial of Galileo. So you have some negatives, but overall, the Catholic Church was very positive. 